Uh, we got a great question here. My guy, Trash Can Hokies. First of all, I mean, like, elite, elite user handle. I don't even know what that means, but it's hilarious. Uh, with the rise of the transfer portal, is the era of college football legends at smaller schools over? Now, he cites guys like Tavon Austin from West Virginia. He cites guys like Justin Blackman at Oklahoma State. First of all, man, like the Tavon Austin highlights. Whenever you finish up watching this show, go check those out. It's the one with millions of views. You just had to be there for that era, man. The like, uh, that's the one you want to watch, and that's the one that'll take you back real quick to uh, imagining you were Tavon Austin if you played youth football around the time where he was balling. Uh, the answer to this question is uh, a few facets to it. I think that this will not become extinct. It might become a little bit more scarce. All right, so maybe you put it on the uh, the watch list for extinction. But I don't think this is over by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, the question, just to reframe it here, he's asking, will the top guys just end up transferring out to Blue Bloods? Like, okay, I have a big year out of West Virginia. Do I get a call from, uh, you know, an Alabama or an Ohio State or a Michigan and end up wanting to transfer out to there? That's the question we're asking here. And again, I don't think that it is going to be extinct. I think it'll just be less common for a couple of reasons. The first is I think people still commit to people and situations. And so at a high school, if you have a good relationship with a head coach and you commit to that head coach and you have success in that program, I think there's going to be some desire to stay with that person and stay with that staff. Now, if that staff leaves, maybe there's a different conversation to be had there. But I do think that loyalty is still a very real thing in college football. Now, people are going to say, well, NIL this, NIL that. And I understand all that. But I do think at the end of the day, like the human element of this, I think we'll still keep some guys home. Not all of them, but some of those guys home. Also, speaking of home, like if you're the hometown kid going to the hometown school, your decision was to stay home to begin with. Does having a good year really change your desire to stay home? I don't know. But I think it's worth talking about. And I think it's something that uh, at the very least, maybe not everybody, but I think there will be a percentage of guys that decide to stick with their commitment and decide to stick with their school. Now, here's where it gets a little bit more uh, black and white for me. As, as much as the transfer portal is growing and, and impacting college football with some guys at lower levels going to you know a higher level of football, maybe going to the Blue Bloods, I think that NIL is still going to impact this thing as well. Like I think back to when Robert Griffin III was at Baylor and just pretty much doing whatever he wanted on the football field, winning the Heisman Trophy. You don't think that if he were to have that kind of season in today's college football— there wouldn't be some schools beating down his door to try and tamper and get him to transfer to their school. I promise you, there would be. There would be. But you talk about the NIL opportunities that a school like Baylor has or doesn't have. Whatever they have in-house, they're giving it to Robert Griffin III to keep him in Waco. And so to put a finer point on this, like NIL, I think as much as people are going to use it to take kids away from schools, I think some schools are going to get all their money in their piggy bank, take all their resources, and put it towards their top guys to keep them at their school. We've already seen it with some of these guys behind closed doors. Uh, I have to believe that's going to only further impact keeping some guys at their schools as well as we move further and further into the NIL and the portal era. Now, this is the last point, and this is a point that uh, our very own Trey Yannity made, so I want to make sure we give credit to our guy Trey Yannity, one of the producers here for us at All3. Um, we were talking about this same question before the show, and I posed it to him. He thought about it for a second. He said, you know what? I think it's actually the exact opposite. Think about all the talent that is buried on a roster like a Georgia, like an Ohio State, like an Alabama, like the five-star cat that out of high school committed there. And he's used to playing a lot. He's used to being, you know, uh, the guy at the school. And he's maybe in the two deep. Maybe he's a third-string guy. Like, he kind of sees the writing on the wall. Maybe he transfers back to the hometown school that's not a blue blood, but still, you know, a decent level of football. He wants to get on the field. So to, to put it simply, the transfer portal works both ways. As much as some guys are going to transfer out after having a great season at a lower level school or a smaller school, not a blue blood, there's going to be a lot of cats that go somewhere big out of high school and realize like, hey, I'm, I'm a, a big fish, but I'm in a big pond and it's going to be hard to get on the field here and transfer back to their other school or transfer back rather closer to home at the smaller school and have a career there. So all that's to say, I think the legends of college football at schools like a West Virginia, like Oklahoma State, like a Baylor, 
there's no reason why we're naming just Big 12 schools there. It's kind of the, the way that this whole segment worked out. I think that that era is still very much so intact. I think we'll still see a lot of that. But a great question from our guy at Trash Can Hokies. Appreciate you adding to the conversation. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel here to make sure you don't miss an episode of The Hard Count. Also, be sure to check out other videos on the On3 YouTube channel.